seeing this place <laughs> it's like uh, they put a tent but it's a tent of a natural tree awesome I'm somewhere near on the way to Chintamani. Uh, actually, I just came for a ISOL ride. I guess most of you already know like uh, what ISOL is. ISOL is uh, something like I go to places which is like not very known, which is almost like I mean mostly the off-road involved. You know, just like the one you see in the background. If you are new to this channel, uh, go check out the series. Isol, it is uh, in search of unknown lands. So I mostly venture into the, you know, inside. I mean, away from the city. I go inside the village routes and uh, most of these actually less known places. But there are like, I've found many beautiful places actually uh, while going through this uh, in search of unknown land series. I'll put it in the description as well. You can check it out. Like a whole series. There are about I think almost. Uh, 10 episodes are there so far okay, there, there is an announcement to make I guess uh, I mean it's not more like announcement now I guess most of you already know that I'm riding to IBW so I'll give you a update about the ride India bike week I guess you most of you guys already know it's uh, Asia's largest motorcycle event I guess this is the fifth edition last time when it happened uh, actually I got a free entry last time because uh, one of my video actually got selected for the film festival I rode all the way from Bangalore to Goa solo and attended the event it was like uh, so many bikes music and it's like a whole lot of different actually experience for me and then from then actually I rode to Mangalore so that was the, I think I'll I'll put some clips about the last year's ride I think I made a video I guess most of you already seen it so IBW invited me this year uh, to be part of the motor loggers event so I'll be riding to Goa I think I'll mostly take the map route so we'll be going via Davangere, Hubli, Darwad and then to Goa I guess towards that uh, ghat from that guard section so if you guys are around and if you want to meet up so I'll just put out the uh, I mean keep updating on my stories like where I'm at and the timing is mostly like I'll be starting around 5 a.m. in the morning from Bangalore and probably in Davangere around 11:30, and to Hubli I guess around 1.30 or something and Darwad by 2.30 hopefully and then reaching the Goa by uh, 7 p.m. I guess it might take longer than that but we are just hoping to reach by 7. The IBW event is on 24th and 25th November so we will be riding on 23rd morning and we will be back by uh, I think Sunday, uh, Sunday evening. There are about uh, I think 20,000 bikers to be expected to riding to the uh, IBW. I guess about more than around 250 motorcycle clubs. So it will be a hell lot of bikes. I guess the main reason I am attending the IBW is to actually meet the people who are actually living their life or living their passion on two wheelers, uh, motorcycle, which is which is what we are doing. But there are like a lot many people who are better than me they have like a lot of inspirational stories to share so I'm actually 
uh, expecting to hear those stories get inspired and you know do more from whatever i'm doing now and also get better at what i'm doing right now so last time when i attended the ibw there was a event where they were actually explained about the off road riding and there's a lot of stuff there was a session kind of thing which was i think organized by uh, triumph motorcycle so that was like a very informative session it helped me a lot actually during my lay rides because they gave like a lot of those tips you know considering the off roads and lay road and also like he gave some uh, some tips about uh, counter steering and that was really helped and while i was actually riding from bangalore to uh, sorry from goa to mangalore i was actually trying that and it really improved my uh, riding skills and apart from that i think there are some uh, tracks are set up i think flat track and there is another also like enduro track where they will actually let you go take your bike and the enduro track was fun they actually offered me to ride triumph tiger last time to take it on enduro but i wasn't actually uh you know dare enough to take that bike because that bike was too tall and it was too big for me at that time i think if it was this time i think i might have given a try if you are very much into motorcycle i guess this is one of the event which you want to go and there are like lot of lot of motorcycles there are like more, many brands which will come there and it was like uh, you can see from my last video like there are like various type of uh, bikes there are modified bikes is also a IBW film festival where they'll actually feature films and that there is a small theater right kind of like a home theater they'll put up and last time i was actually spent most of my time there uh, there i seen like many uh, inspirational motorcycle ride videos it was nice and you'll also get to check out like a lot of uh, biking accessories and gear and stuff that would be one thing to check out and uh, i guess compared to last year ticket price is i think a bit less which is for 1750 i guess for two days so if you guys are attending the ibw i would very much would like to meet you all uh, if you guys uh, i mean see me anywhere on the event just come and say hello last time when i attended uh, i got to meet few of the well known names in the motorcycle world pankaj trivedi and uh, cs santosh uh, dagilam keen i'm hoping to meet any of the new faces as well this time many of you say that it's kind of like awkward to call me a gopro man because it's kind of like sound like a name of a machine or something so I guess I I most of you have seen my videos it's already like it was never hidden so most of you already know my name so if you don't know it's Arun Kumar so GoPro man is not a club few of you guys actually ask if GoPro man is a club which you know arrange travel agent or something it's just me traveling some random places that's it uh, I'm not really associated with gopro or anything it just that people started calling me gopro man so because i guess that was the time i was the only one who was carrying gopro man to the group right so that's why the channel name came as gopro man anyway it was nice talking to you guys so hopefully we talk more often <laughs> i hope i'll make more often videos like this so see you again on the road bye